Riding a motorcycle isn't just about what you ride, how you look, or your destination. It's about freedom and adventure. Once you start, it becomes a part of who you are. It gets in your blood. But a word of caution. If you dilute your blood with alcohol and get on your bike, well, you've lost it. Because that's not riding. That's just being stupid. Alcohol slows your reflexes and coordination. And please notice these things. So remember why you ride. Because if you don't ride sober, you will get pulled over. In 1995, John Souk founded Deep Elm Records. Today, 20 years later, Deep Elm Records boasts over 220 releases. We celebrate the pioneering spirit and the awesome artists that make up Deep Elm Records each week here on the unofficial Deep Elm Podcast. The unofficial Deep Elm Podcast begins now. Hello and welcome to episode 17 of the Unofficial Deep Elm Podcast. This is your host Wayne here. And tonight we are continuing with our series uh, profiling the emo diaries. Tonight we go on to chapter 8, which is entitled My Very Last Breath. Much darker tone on this one. Uh, released July 23rd of 2002, it features a black cover with a skull and crossbones in the right lower hand corner. Uh, definitely a departure from some of the other cover art. Very dark, uh, very, very sinister. Now, I have to mention this because it reaches. Uh, we're reaching a point in the emo diaries where. John and the folks at Deep Elm decided to stop releasing Emo Diaries uh, around chapter 10, and they took a break for a few years. Now, here's the, here's the thing about it. I ran into someone today that I would, and I normally don't share stories like this on the air, but I figure why not? It's very appropriate. I ran into someone today who did not like the fact that I was sharing this podcast in a group that claimed to reclaim emo. When I spoke to this gentleman, I put it to him. I told him what I was doing. I told him everything that was that was going on. I, I told him that I was profiling the emo diaries. This is a legendary series. I figured you guys would like it on your group and you folks would enjoy it. And after that, he kind of calmed down, but he still banned me from the group and told me that I wasn't following the rules, and, and what he was looking to do was to reclaim emo, uh, and everything that he heard from me was indie pop punk. Number one, this guy had never heard of the Emo Diaries, which is standard reading if you are going to claim to be someone who knows a little bit about the term emo. Number two, I couldn't help but strike parallels with John's feelings about the, quote, bastardization of emo. Emo is not a musical genre, per se, at least in the way that myself, John, and several others believe it to be. Emo is music that makes you feel something. It's music that allows you to emote. In fact, John's main titling of this uh, compilation, which in turn sparked a revolution and kind of grew like a wildfire out of control there for a while. His reasoning behind naming the Emo Diaries, let's remember this, is because emotional diaries would not fit on an album jacket. So he shortened it to Emo. It wasn't a style of music, it wasn't a particular genre. It wasn't, you got to have a certain amount of guitar. You have to have a certain amount of this or that. It was music that rips your soul out from your very chest and tears it apart and then puts it back into you, somehow feeling brand new. So I just could not, I couldn't stand this guy. I gave him, I, I gave him a load of shit because this guy was claiming to reclaim emo, and yet the podcast that I am doing, which is profiling at this moment, one of the seminal collections of the emo movement. I mean, this is like the Bible of the emo movement, or the Bible of what people came to understand 
this is the this is the real deal here. The people who understand that emo is not how many guitars you have, what kind of vocalist you have, or what kind of vocals they scream or yell out of their chests. It is much, much more than that. So I just had to get that off my chest. It, it was very appropriate. But now on with the on with the show, as they say. Uh, I'm going to start by reading a couple of reviews of the Emo Diaries Chapter 8, My Very Last Breath. This one comes from Dropout Digest. Quote, for the, first, for the past few years, the Emo Diaries collection has defined the genre better than any other. And Chapter 8, My Very Last Breath, is no exception. I'm not a big fan of comps, but this is the exception. They could not have done a better job. This diverse collection of songs ranges from soft melodic ballads to upbeat pop numbers. Every style is represented and represented well. Once again, that is from a publication called Dropout Digest. Another one from True Punk. Quote, Here is the eighth chapter of the Emo Diaries, and it is the most impressive one of the series. There are bands from Sweden, Canada, USA, Switzerland, and even Brazil. And this is a great way to learn about bands from all over the planet. Among the 12 that I was most impressed with were A Season Drive, The Solo Project, Slow Coming Day, and Down to Earth Approach. Still, I think that any band on this album deserves to be heard by more people. And it would be nearly impossible not to mention everyone. The Emo Diaries, My Very Last Breath, is a good resource for finding new, talented bands. That is from True Punk. So we're going to get going here with a Deep Elm Insider selection. We have two this evening, the track from The Day Action Band and the track from Slow Coming Day. Uh, the Day Action Band's tr track is called Regret. Slow Coming Day track is called A Mere Accident. Then we have something that I'm debuting this week, and I know uh, my buddy's going to get a kick out of it. Jason Barr, who a few weeks ago I asked to be a part of this, whole project and this whole podcast basically leading the social media charge leading the social media aspect of it he is an unbelievable resource he knows so much about all of this music and when he posts something it's it's phenomenal i post something it gets you know a few hits he posts something it goes practically viral I don't know how he does that, but he has that social media savvy that I need to get this podcast out to mo more people. Because if there's something I know how to do, it's audio, it's podcasting, it's talking into the mic and making sure everything sounds correct. But he knows how to market, and he's very knowledgeable about this music, and I am so happy to have him be a part of this. He'll be on the show later on. We'll we'll make we'll make time for him. We'll we'll have him on the show, but what I'd like to uh, point out is that we are going to dedicate one track. It's going to be called JB's Pick of the Week. And JB's Pick of the Week is the song from the particular Emo Diaries, or in the future, it will be particular album or band that JB really digs. So that song tonight will be the track by Logue, L-O-G-H, called Guided Tour of a Dead Man's House. And then there comes my track, which is going to be the opening track of the uh, Emo Diaries Chapter 8, My Very Last Breath, called Super Stud by a group called Kelly 8. As I must remind you all the time, every time, you can get these songs at www.deepelm.com and you can name your price on this whole album or track by track, whatever you want. It is extreme independence, and know that you are helping support this label that has been truly independent for the past 21 years that is putting out a new sampler towards the end of the month called This Heart of Mine. It's their 13th sampler, and it's all brand new material. How many, how many indie record labels do you know that can just put out this much material this far down the road? Deep Elm is truly an inspirational and legendary story. Coming up, we are going to hear the first of the uh, Deep Elm Insider tracks. This is the Day Action Band. This song is called Regret, here on the unofficial Deep Elm Podcast, Episode 17, Profiling the Emo Diaries, Chapter 8, 
my very last breath. I know that having children won't keep me alive. When they are in their forties, I will start to die. This windmill life is halfway round. There's one thing that I'll know. That I can't believe I ever let you go Well, regret, regret it every night Ba, 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 ba Oh, regret, regret it every day Nighttime sound comes pouring in There's one thing that I know That I can't believe I ever let you go Oh, regret, regret it every night Ba, 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 ba Oh, regret Ready to Thank you for listening to the unofficial Deep Elm podcast. This is episode number 17, and uh, we are continuing our series on the Emo Diaries. Tonight we are focusing on chapter 8, entitled My Very Last Breath. That was the Day Action Band, a song called Regret. Now, we'll get back to some more music in a moment, but a couple more glittering reviews of this uh, eighth chapter of the seminal Emo Diary series. This comes from the ever-popular Deep Fry Bonanza, quote, I'm sure that bands are practically killing each other to get on this seminal series of compilations, and by pointing us toward another dozen good songs with the Emo Diaries, Deep Elm is helping indie kids everywhere save the money they would have spent on errant record purchases. Once you know that this is the cream of the crop, the product of Deep Elm's freaky col- colander, which only lets crappy bands slip through the holes, reviewing Chapter 8, My Very Last Breath, on its own seems silly. You buy it regardless, because you feel a responsibility to keep abreast of the current happenings in the world. Even if you lack the natural grace and good taste to distinguish the good from the bad, you can still look smart by buying this record. More high praise from uh, from critics, and y- you know the the emo diaries. It's like it's it's a slam dunk. There's not one bad album out of all of them. There's just not one bad album. And then uh, let's see. Well, <laughs> we only got a few. Uh, we only got a few reviews here. So what I'm going to do. Uh, there, I got spoiled. There were like a dozen reviews on some of these things, and this one only has. The ones that I've read to you. So, uh, actually, this is a this is one from Impact Press. Quote: A new chapter, twelve bands, and more oral satisfaction for music lovers on my very last breath. Keep in mind, I say oral as an a u r a l. You perverts. The band on this release are global, from Sweden to Chicago to Brazil, but each of them represents a part of the emo style, from the more hard-edged to the soft and sweet. The standout tracks on here are by long since forgotten Power Pump with a dose Power Punk, or no wait Power Pop, excuse me, with a dose of Core, Down to Earth Approach, Emo Rock, a la the Get Up Kids, Hey Teen, Indie Rock that packs a punch, and the Color Blue, amazing indie rock with smooth horns and plenty of emotion. 
There are few compilations out there with this kind of quality, and even fewer that can attest to the consistency heard on the Emo Diaries chapter after chapter. That was from the Impact Press. So, quite glittering reviews as usual for the uh, for chapter 8, and right now we're going to play uh, said band, Slow Coming Day. This song is called A Mere Accident. This is a Deep Elm insider selection from chapter 8 of the Emo Diaries, My Very Last Breath. We'll be right back after this here on the unofficial Deep Elm Podcast. <laughs> Oh 
Welcome back to the unofficial Deep Elm podcast, episode 17, profiling chapter 8 of the Emo Diaries, entitled My Very Last Breath. That was Slow Coming Day, and the title of the song was A Mere Accident. Now, I did some research. I did a little bit more research. I stopped being lazy. I got off my virtual ass, and I looked around for some more reviews for this great, great album, and I found them uh, from Paste Punk. You uh, you get this review. Quote, if you've liked the Emo Diary series before, you will like Chapter 8. Twelve interesting, fresh-sounding bands that do what they say they do well and with passion. Deep Elm has their quality meter calibrated so well it's not even funny. Bands that rocked my world on this disc. Kelly 8, Long Since Forgotten, Logue, The Color Blue, A Season Drive, and The Home Team. If you care anything at all about good music, and not what band has become a part of the latest trend... Buy this album with no regrets. That is from Paste Punk. And then from Aiding and Abetting comes this uh, blurb. Quote, My very last breath is the latest in one of the best long-running compilation series. Every single one of the Emo Diaries has been great. My very last breath keeps that string going. If only my mixtapes were this good. That was from Aiding and Abetting. Up next, we have the pro pick by Jason Barr, who is a editor for the unofficial Deep Elm podcast social media page. Uh, well, other in other words, Facebook page. I do have a Twitter. It's at unofficial deep. But I haven't been hitting it as hard as I perhaps should. Uh, that is admittedly so. I haven't been uh, really tweeting a lot. Uh, just, uh, I don't know. I've never gotten into the Twitter too much. I know it's a great tool, but I, I don't know. Just uh, Facebook just seems to work a little better for me at this point, And I don't see a problem with it. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, just go with what Jason has put together for the uh, for this particular track as soon as I pull it up here. While I'm pulling it up, uh, next week's show will of course be on chapter nine of the unofficial or chapter nine of the emo Diaries, and it will be episode 18 of the unofficial Deep Elm podcast. So I hope you come and hope you come and visit, hope you listen, and I hope you like it. Now, Jason has been doing such a great job on this page. Everything that he puts in is just gold. And this is his post about chapter eight. Quote, the unofficial Deep Elm podcast will be airing tomorrow night. That was last week. Unfortunately, I had a, a mixed schedule or bad scheduling conflict there, so I wasn't able to put it out. But it will be airing tomorrow night, showcasing Deep Elm Records, The Emo Diaries, Chapter 8, My Very Last Breath. One of my personal favorite tracks on this chapter would have to be Guided Tour of a Dead Man's House, written and performed by a band called Logue from Sweden. Thanks to Discogs, I'm seeing that they put out a good handful of albums. I might just have to spend some money that I don't have. What are your favorite songs from this chapter? Please let Mr. Alan Wayne know. Jason Barr. So... We went ahead and boosted that and got some pretty good responses on it. Some folks were uh, very complimentary, and we were very pleased with the love that we received. Now, without further ado, out of Sweden, a band called Logue, L-O-G-H. This song is called Guided Tour of a Dead Man's House. As we continue to profile Chapter 8 of the Emo Diaries here on Episode 17 of the unofficial Deep Elm Podcast. Against the glass 
against the glass An imprint that will last Brother, call our mom Tell her of her car Tell her of my scar And that was Logue with Guided Tour of a Dead Man's House. That was JB's pick for this week. JB, Jason Barr, the editor of the unofficial Deep Elm Podcast Facebook page, and also a self-described emo nut or emo nerd. Uh, couldn't, couldn't do this as successfully as I have without him. So as we come to the wrap-up of, uh, of this show, we're going to get into a couple more reviews of this very, very good, uh, very good album. A lot of bands that you uh, hadn't heard of before, but I mean, it's just like the reviews have said, it's the best music period without ego, without what's trendy, without any of that. This is a review from a publication called Splendid. Quote, Deep Elm continues to scribble away in its ever-growing diary of all things emo, and once again, the results are quite pleasing with Chapter 8, My Very Last Breath. Swedish band Kelly 8, which you will be hearing after this segment and to close out the show, kicks off this edition with a noisy, barn-burning piece of post-punk where no punches are pulled and the onslaught never lets up. Fellow Scandinavians Logue make a worthy contribution, you just heard them, with an ethereal song that rides a somber guitar line to an ending that you hope will never come. Also noteworthy is the Day Action Band, who you heard earlier this evening, whose endearing pop sound recalls a less bitter Ben Folds 5 minus piano. The song is a slow burner, which becomes more cozy and authentic with each listen. Slow Coming Days, clarity-influenced track. You also heard that today as well. They're hitting all the notes. Stands as the finest song present, and the solo project shines with those soaring post-hardcore guitar fills that can still rock your socks off. All in all, every single cut on this compilation is played with passion. And My Very Last Breath is a tight, competent set of songs from potent young bands. That is from Splendid. And ladies and gentlemen, before we, uh, before we wrap up this evening, I would just like to say, uh, say that we here at the Unofficial Deep Elm Podcast, our prayers are with those in Turkey and France for all of the unbelievable turmoil going on. This is really an amazing time in the world. And just remember that. Just look around you and just remember this time in the world. It is phenomenal. The world is changing practically every day. Remember this time, be kind to each other, and as always, stay independent. Next week, Chapter 9 of the Emo Diaries profiled on Episode 18 of the Unofficial Deep Elm Podcast. For Jason Barr, I'm Alan Wayne. Thank you for listening. And here is Kelly 8, the first track on Chapter 8 of the Emo Diaries, My Very Last Breath, but it closes out this particular episode of the Unofficial Deep Elm Podcast. <laughs>
we say free, we mean it. Because at LBS Financial Credit Union, we know what free means to you. It means more savings and more access. And that's what you get with LBS Financial's free checking with e-statements. No fees, all free. Online, on your phone, and at 30,000 fee-free ATMs nationwide. Visit lbsfcu.org slash free today. LBS Financial Credit Union. Together ahead. Federally insured by NCUA. Membership open to all Southern Californians.